Pretty amazing. Carl did it. The HD Zero goggle does exactly what it set out to do. Take it out of the bag here. And that's it. So today we measured four, not, not four milliseconds of fi fixed glass glass latency, but three milliseconds of fixed glass glass latency. So it exceeded expectations. That's pretty amazing. Also on here, I've got uh, some slide on patches. So I'll show you how that works. You just take it and align it with the grooves and slide it on. And then there'll be an SMA version of this that connects right here. This is the uh, UFL version, just like that though. While I'm gonna be talking about latency today, I think another way to think about latency is rather uh, smoothness, smoothness of the video. If the video is always coming consistently at the same rate, it feels smooth. If the video is streaming rather than being displayed per frame, which is how HD0 works, it streams line by line, the video feels smooth. I think you'll just have to try it yourself if you've never tried HD0 with HD0 goggle and felt how smooth the image is, you're doing yourself an injustice. It's not all about resolution. It's not all about no breakup. It's about being there in the seat of the drone and having it be perfectly smooth all the time. Can't wait for you to try it. So I've got uh, this one and I have another one that I'm testing and both of them are going to be available to test uh, for anyone coming to the HD0 team race this Saturday, August 27. It's going to be great. I'll just try these on here and then uh, the rest of the video will be showing how we did the testing. Let's go. All the details that you'll need to understand how we did the testing will be in the links in the description. There's also going to be links to attend the HD0 team race happening this weekend or uh, watch the live stream so that you can participate a little bit that way. So without further ado, here's the video of how we did the testing and the results. So what you doing, Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? What is that? What is that? Yeah, I don't know what that is. It's a photo diode. Yeah? So it's going to measure the light coming off of the uh, goggle on the screen there. Okay. And then that's going to this. Correct. So that's an oscilloscope. And that's going to measure the signal coming off the photo diode as well as the um, trigger of the light source. And what's this over here? Torture box? Torture box. So that is um, flashing a oh, giant a string of LEDs on the inside um, just to make sure you've got pure darkness and then abruptly pure light on the image sensor. Cool. So what are we looking at here? So the yellow trace is the flash, the LED turning on. And this then, LED. Right, the big flashy one. And then that shows up here. Flash, 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 flash. Yeah. And the green is the signal coming off the photo diode. So basically as the display lights up, you can see the, this, the display turn on. You can see that gradual kind of slope upwards. Yeah, and then you, can you zoom out? We should be able to see it go back down to off too, right? Correct. Yeah, so that's this flashing on and off. Nice. And then what do we have on the measurements? We've got uh, three milliseconds. Yep, for at the knee there. The knee there, yep. Comes up on for whatever time you programmed it to be on for. And then it comes back down. And it's not moving. Correct. <laughs> you did it. Three milliseconds. Three milliseconds fixed. What do we what do we measure for the analog cameras? It's like one point eight to so around two milliseconds. 
Yeah, so it's one millisecond slower. Right, but it's fixed, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the important bit. Fixed digital latency. Three milliseconds, glass to glass. Sweet. So after you saw that, do you have any questions? I mean, yeah, it is a little bit complicated. It is an oscilloscope. We're not just using a, a simple GoPro um, and then counting video frames. That's not precise enough to register just how low latency this is. It's really cool. If you have any questions about this or uh, any questions about the goggle, let me know. I've got it. Um, eager to answer any questions there are and pass any feedback along to Carl. Now you might be thinking to yourself, three milliseconds, that, that doesn't matter to me. Or the human reaction time can't feel anything lower than, oh, I don't know, 20, 20 milliseconds. It's different. Um, it's different for a couple of reasons. One, this is a continuous stream of information, not a random stimulus. The other reason um, is, hey, I might not be able to notice three milliseconds versus 10 or 15 even. But what I do notice is whether it's consistent or not. Keep that in mind. Consistency is almost as important as the latency itself. And this just checked both boxes. Consistent latency, three milliseconds, and super low latency, three milliseconds.